We've got Salah. Do 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 do. Oh, Manny, Manny. Do 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 do. Oh, this is really awkward. I didn't see you guys there. Anyway, <clears throat> what's up, guys? It's Ravla here. Welcome back to another video. Firstly, if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. I've got a lot of RS3 content and more coming. You'll probably find my tips and tricks playlist very interesting. We really uncover some gems of RuneScape 3. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord as well. But that's enough plugging myself. Let's get right into today's video, which is how to AFK efficiently using Alt-1 Toolkit. Now, before I started using this, I used to AFK and literally forget to check my screen and more often than not, I would be in the lobby every time I checked back. But since I've started to use this toolkit, it's fantastic. I get a lot more gains done for literally the tiniest bit more effort. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can do the same. So sit back, relax and enjoy the guide guys. So to download Alt-1, you want to go on Google and type in P-O-R, wait, wait, <clears throat> you want to type in Alt-1 Toolkit and go to the first link that you see. On this website, you can scroll down and you'll see a massive download now. Go ahead and click that and go through the settings. After that's done, the Alt-1 Toolkit will appear in your taskbar on your bottom right and you can click on it to go through any options. So now that's there. I'm going to teach you how to set it up. Once you have installed Alt-1, you want to open up your RuneScape client and make sure you're in-game and not in lobby. Then you want to click on the Alt-1 symbol in your bottom right toolbar and click on the settings option. Open up the settings options and then click on the second tab called capture. Here you will see three different options, DirectX, OpenGL and desktop capture. Now, it's very important that you set this up properly and that one of these is working. So for me, DirectX doesn't work and I can see that because at the bottom of the window, it's gone black. But if I click on OpenGL, I can see that my RS client is visible and the text by that shows that it's working, which is great. Now, if OpenGL or DirectX doesn't work for you, desktop will almost certainly work for you. It's just a tiny bit slower but it really doesn't matter. So make sure that this is set up and then we can go on to the next part. So once that is set up, feel free to click on the Alt-1 Toolkit icon and click on AFK Warden. Now on the first link on the top left, you will see that you can open up a lot of pre-made presets. Now feel free to go ahead and try them, but personally, I wouldn't recommend them because the skilling ones pretty bad and it really depends on your setup and it doesn't always work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set one up for yourself and you can tailor it however you want. The first thing we're going to set up is a very basic XP counter based alert. Now what I want you to do is open up AFK Warden and click on the second icon on the top left. Here go ahead and select basic alert. And then once the second menu opens up, click on XP counter and you'll get some more options. Now, before we set this up, I'm going to quickly explain what this does. This alert scans your RuneScape screen for your RuneMetrics XP tracker. And if you haven't gained any XP in the set duration of time which you set, you will get an alert. Now it's very important that you set this up correctly, so make sure that your RuneMetrics XP tracker is on your screen and clearly visible with absolutely nothing obscuring the view. So if we look at the settings, it really depends on what you're doing. In the background, I'm gonna be doing some divination, which gives fairly constant experience rates every few seconds. So I know that if I haven't received experience within five seconds, I'm probably AFK and that the Wisp is depleted. You also have the option of choosing a specific skill, but for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to leave it as total experience. And then at the bottom half of this little option screen, you can have an option of how it should alert you when you haven't gained any experience in the time that you've set above. 
Now there are a few options here. You can actually add an audio based alarm which will make a noise, which is obviously great if you're doing something not on the computer like studying. If you don't want to hear a noise or you want to hear a noise on something else, you can select the show cursor tooltip. This is really awesome because once you're alerted, what it will do is it will show a little message by your mouse pointer. You can set that text to whatever you want and this acts as a very neat little reminder to just get back on the RuneScape screen and continue with the activity you're doing. Now what's really cool about this is that it actually shows up when you're on a different tab so you have absolutely nothing to worry about, you will miss nothing. So I've set it up for 5 seconds before it alerts me, so in the background I'm just finishing off with this wisp and after 5 seconds you can see by my mouse pointer I get a cheeky little message reminding me that I'm AFK and to get back on with the gate. And just to show you guys what it looks like when you're on another tab, here I'm on Google Chrome and I get the little notification by my curse pointer, which is perfect. Now this setup is perfect for things like divination and thieving where you're getting constant XP drops. But Things like fishing are a bit less accurate with this because there's a very large range before you get XP sometimes. For example, it may take me 10 seconds to catch a fish, it may take me 5, or it may take me 25 or 30. You really don't know. So for resource gathering skills like fishing, this is quite useful but not extremely useful because there is that variance which means that you may be AFK for a longer period of time. However, if we pair this up with some very simple and effective alerts which I'm going to show you shortly, that makes it a lot better and I'm going to show you some of these things that we can pair it up with right now. Now if you're doing resource gathering skills and using a sign of the porter, once it runs out you're probably going to have a full inventory in a few seconds and therefore you're going to stop skilling. So in order to set up an alert for when your sign of the porter runs out, you need to equip your sign of the porter. Once this is equipped you will get a message in your chat box saying you now have X amount of charges left on your sign of the porter, make sure that it's there and you're scrolled all the way down to the bottom and absolutely nothing is obscuring the chat box. If this is the case, go ahead and open up AFK Warden and click add an alert. Once this menu is open, go down and click on sign of the porter. Now on the little AFK Warden pop-up you should see sign of the porter and on the right of it you should see a little setting sign. Click on that. At this point you should see a snapshot of your chat box and all you need to do is click on the text which says your sign of the porter has been depleted. Once you click on this another little option will open up, all you need to do is just press OK and go ahead and set the alarm to however you wish. So as you can see in the background my sign of the porter has run out and then I get the cursor alert. So as soon as I see that message, I can quickly equip another sign of the porter and get back on with the activity I was doing. You can also pair this with the buff based alert. What you want to do is go on add an alert and click on basic alerts and then go on buffs. What this does is that it scans your buff bar and the respective timers left on all the buffs on there. So once you're on this screen, you can choose which buff you want to be tracked. So in the background, I want to get an alert for when my familiar is about to die. So what I do is I click on the little summoning icon there, and then I click on alert at and type in 30 seconds. Now what this means is that once my familiar timer has 30 seconds or less on it, I will get the notification that I set below. Now there is a line above this called start bar at, but this is just a tiny visual thing which really doesn't matter, so I would completely ignore that, it's not really important. But the important line is alert by, and you can set it to whatever you wish. Now you can set up alerts for anything which appears on your buff bar, just remember you have to do it separately. In the background for example, I'm doing it for my aura, 
and for my perfect plus potion so when they are about to expire I'll get a little notification and I can do something about it. So after you've taken up the time to set up whatever alerts that you want, make sure that you click on the top right hand icon of the floppy disk to save this preset. Now you've saved it, you never need to set it up again and every time you go and do that activity you can just load it and boom AFK straight away. It's a tiny tiny bit of work but it really helps out in the long run and I really hope it increases your efficiency. Next up I'm going to show you how to set up AFK Warden for combat based activities. Now the great thing about this is that Alt 1's pre-made preset is pretty fantastic so we really have very little work to do. So click on the top left icon and you'll have a list of Alt 1's pre-made presets and click on the Slayer one. Here you will find a variety of different options and simply select the ones which apply to you. Once you've done so, your AFK Warden pop-up screen will have all your active alerts listed. Now what you want to do to customize these is simply go through each one and click on the settings icon and change it to whatever you prefer. For example, I've set it to send me a warning if my HP goes below 25%. So the only one of these settings which is slightly tricky to set up is the one with the loop beam which is very very important so I'm going to walk you through how to set it up. You only need to do it once and then you never ever need to do it again. So let's get on with it. In order for this to work you can only have one chat box on your screen. Make sure that it's stretched sufficiently and absolutely nothing is obscuring it and make sure that there are absolutely no filters on your chat whatsoever. The next thing you need to do is you need to get a loop B message to appear in your chat box. Now luckily this is quite easily done so open your settings, go to loot settings and set your loop beam amount to 1k. Now all you need to do is get a drop worth 1k or more and you'll get the message in your chat box. So go ahead and kill something which is likely to drop that and once you have it in your chat box we can move on to the next step. So as you can see in the background I've got the loop beam message in my chat box. Once that's there and visible in your chat box go ahead and click on the loop beam settings to open up another menu. Here you will see a little picture of your chat box. Now all you need to do is click on the line of chat which says a golden beam has shined on blah blah blah. Once you've selected that click confirm and click confirm again and you are good to go. Oh just one thing if you've reduced your loot beam to 1k you probably want to put it back to what it was before otherwise you're going to be getting messages left right and center. So just to prove that it works real quick, I get a drop of ghostly essence, a golden beam shines above it, this is visible in my chat and because of that I get a little text by my mouse letting me know. So this is incredibly useful if you're doing some AFK GP farming, it's amazing for farming Rorari's because every time you get a beam you know you're going to get a Serenic scale or a key which is great. So. Hopefully this will save you a lot of time and a lot of frustration. Well guys, that about wraps it up for this video. I spent a lot of time making that guide. I hope it comes across and if it does, please do drop a like. It helps the channel out so much and please do subscribe. It means a lot to me. But anyway, I really hope you use Alt 1 Toolkit. It is a bit annoying to set up, but once you set it up, you're good to go. And it's, yeah, it's just very nice to be a bit more efficient when you're AFKing for literally a tiny, tiny bit more effort. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Tomorrow, I'm going to be uploading my Hardcore Iron Man Deathmatch Challenge versus Cash. So keep an eye out for that. But anyway, guys, take it easy. Have a good one. And I'll see you tomorrow.